Hey guys, Official Phone Revel here, and in this video I just wanted to quickly show you guys that I do have Android 4.2.1 running perfectly on my Samsung Galaxy S3, and I will be coming out with a tutorial for this very soon, as soon as I post my other routing video for all carriers on the Galaxy S3, but for now I just did want to show you that it is working, and there are several ROM options in this one. I am using Cyanogen Mod version 10.1, the nightly build, so it's not the official one, it's basically a modified version of the official version and just to show you first of all I am running Android 4.2.1 there you go 4.2.1 and this is a Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3 I gotta say this may be one of my favorite ROMs aside from the AOKP ROM and it looks very beautiful it performs marvelously I mean I've only had one issue where there was some screen flicker but that was during the initial setup I have not experienced that afterwards and I'll just go over some of the new features found in 4.2.1 that you do not have in your earlier build of Jelly Bean here on the lock screen on 4.2.1 there are now widgets which is very neat as you can set it to whatever you like you can download more obviously this is just some of the selection found on the stock ROM and it's a very very nice port from the 4.2.1 in the Nexus and App Launcher is exactly the same also there are multiple profiles now so if you go into settings you can actually choose which profile and for different users it's a very useful one actually so if you wanna just put your phone into work mode where all the apps are different everything is just set for work you can activate that and on a side note I just wanna say I love Android for the fact that it keeps growing it gets better and better I mean no offense to Apple users I myself personally use an iPhone 5 but I like to switch to a Galaxy S3 once in a while I do not like the fact that Apple remains static in iOS. I mean, some things change, but it's so minor that it's not even worth mentioning. I mean, there are very nice changes, and I really respect that. I mean, I don't hate on Android, I don't hate on iOS, I love them both, but I gotta say, Android is where the innovation is at and will continue to lead. Now, the camera has also been greatly improved in 4.2.1. So you have this option menu, the focus ring is actually different as well, it locks in just like that. And there is a spherical panorama, which I do not have on this phone right now for whatever reason. I may just have to figure it out, it may be a setting, and I just have the regular panorama right there. In case you guys didn't know, there is now built-in security in 4.2.1 as well. So it's a bit like an antivirus or malware protector built into the Android operating system, which is great. It means you get that much extra security. And just a couple more small features. If you slide down, there is now a quick menu right here where you can disable many options very quickly. And I gotta say the battery life in this ROM is actually very decent. It feels a lot like the stock battery, not much difference there. And lastly, if you guys are sending a message or typing on the keyboard, there is now a native swipe-like option, which is very, very useful, and it works great. So that's just a little review of the Cyanogen Mod version 10.1. I will be posting a video very soon. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of how it performs, how it looks, and what's new. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and stay tuned. Peace.